Let's go through the underspin backhand. The, the universal word for the underspin backhand is slice. We stay away from the word slice because certainly it gives people the idea, the image of cutting, chipping, chopping, hitting downward. When we film players, we say hit an underspin backhand, they look at us like, what are you talking about? We saw it on, just hit a slice. They, they slice. When you set up for the ready position, obviously you're in a position where the arm is bent, ball comes to the backhand side, you straighten your arm out. You don't hyperextend your arm, but your arm's relatively straight. So you make a unit turn, you pull back with the left arm, right arm straightens. You get more than sideways in this position. You're going to have the base knuck on the right side one. So many players hit an underspin backhand with the racket face open because they have a continental grip. But right side one and tilt the arm back. It's almost like a golf club where you know, this is your two iron, this is your three iron, this is your four iron, four iron. And you tilt your arm back. Now keep in mind, our program we would say is more first base tennis. And a lot of players who think they're on third base, going home, have to go back to first base. But we want to have players hit with a range of correctness. The top players obviously will start to bend their arm in this position. When we film players so many times when they hit an underspin backhand, they set the racket, elbow down, and it's a wrap around like this. But initially, you just turn like a backhand volley for the underspin backhand. You turn further. You turn more than sideways. You lead in with the bottom edge of the racket. You go slightly down. The path of the racket is an inverted bow. You go from your ear under your chin back up to your ear. It's like a banana. You go slightly down in this position. When you finish, the racket's an archway. It ends up on the same side as the contact point. So from a side view, the underspin backhand, you turn. You're looking over your shoulder in this position, and when you finish, it's hand-to-hand -hand forms a line with a body balance. Your weight's forward, the trailing hip is higher. So that's a review of the underspin backhand.